Hey everybody, really quick middle of the night video. I've been busy. Okay, this is one of the droids from the three pack. It is 12 inch scale. Just showing you. I don't have a lot of room here. I keep trying to adjust. And uh, yeah, I don't have studio. I've got platform D. Okay, well, this is a 12 inch droid and I've been making droids. And these are MFR-3 and MFR-4. I am very happy. I redesigned the legs to be thinner. I gave him joint caps right there. Clanker gave me that uh, suggestion. <laughs> I went ahead and did this really... I like this dome. He, he has like room for accessories okay they just they slide in here and i'm thinking about putting him two folding arms two folding arms right on top here where they're like they're poseable and foldable not just claws that come up but poseable like chopper and i redesigned i gave him more droid like feet with the canisters right there and, okay, the screws. What happened was, all right, on this foot and on these feet, you can get to both sides for maintenance. If you need to take them apart, you can just pop it from one side to the other. But you can't pop it from here, right? And I was like, oh, man. And I, I, I needed to take it back apart. And I was like, oh, what have I done? There's no way to get the thing back out so I used a cup hook and it has a big I don't know why my camera is flickering like this light sensor stuff I guess it's not that bright in here but it's not dark anyway I drilled a small hole down the peg because it looks just it's just one of those five millimeter peg right drilled a hole through it screwed the cup hook down through the plastic and eased it out slowly not to rip the screw out and kind of wiggling it as I went. And I was like, okay, don't do that in the game. <laughs> but now I have a method. Now I have a method. Unfortunately, it does involve having a hole down the peg, but that's okay. And I also have an MFR5, but I don't have a 12-inch version. I only have him, right? And I'm going to keep him with the weird legs. With the stubby legs. Well, they all have stubby legs. They're chopper-style droids. You know, short, stubby ones. To fit down into the, the droid sockets. But he's 3.75 figure uh, scale, right? But he does have articulated ankles, arms, or feet, legs. And head. I like that dome too. He's accessory ready too. Kind of plain, but I'm thinking like I got the inspiration from watching a resistance uh, trailer from I forget where it came from. It was a picture of an R2 droid or an R2 esque droid with three eyes, real big lenses, but his aren't so big compared to the rest of his head. But he's a short, squatty one because. Like this, he's R2D2 sized, right? He's bigger. And the diameters are right on. I mean, he's not any smaller. He's just low poly, you know? He's round. Round translates hard to my printer. Or maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Probably both. And, <laughs> but this is MFR5, and I like that. I like that also. That came out nice. He's accessory ready also. Alright, that's it for this one. Late night, middle of the night. MFRs, if you don't know the story, hit me up. I might make another video. MFR3, MFR4, MFR5. I love these MFRs. These are my favorite MFRs. I love making these MFRs. Thanks. Have a good night. Out here. Bye-bye.